In today's video, I'll show you how to install and configure NVIDIA Driver on Unraid. NVIDIA Driver is exactly what it sounds like. It's a driver for all NVIDIA cards. Let's get the NVIDIA Driver set up. But before we get started, if you haven't signed up for the newsletter yet, I'll leave a link below. It's a monthly publication filled with Unraid news, written out guides, and more. Sign up now so you don't miss out. On to the NVIDIA Driver. The first thing you're gonna to need to do, if you haven't done it already, is to physically install the video card into your server. If you haven't done that yet, go ahead and shut down your machine now, install the card, turn it back on, and I'll see you back here. All right, got it done, let's move on. Now that you're logged back into your server, let's jump over to the apps tab. We're gonna search for NVIDIA driver, and you'll find it here is the first one, it's the monthly spotlight edition. Let's go ahead and click install. Then it's gonna tell you you need to compatible video card, which is kind of a given. So we're going to hit OK on that. While that's installing the plugin here, you'll notice some warnings. Do not close this window with a red X until you see done is displayed. We don't have done yet, so we're just going to hold on and let it do its thing. While that's installing, if you didn't know yet, our Discord server is up and running. Come join us. I'll leave a link in the description below. All right, done is showing up, so let's go ahead and hit done now. Now that it's installed, we need to go to settings and set it up. So let's go to settings. Scroll all the way down and you should find the NVIDIA driver listed below. We're gonna select that option. Scrolling down here, we're gonna look at the update driver notification. We wanna make sure that's enabled so that if there's a new update, it'll notify us. And then over on the right-hand side, where it says select preferred driver version, we're gonna choose the latest version, then hit update and download. And we'll click done. Now that that's done, we need to restart the server. So we'll go back to our dashboard and we're gonna click the restart option in the top. Hit proceed to reboot. All right, once it's back up, log back in. Now let's go over to our dashboard and see if it shows up. And it does not. So now we're going to go grab another plugin called GPU Statistics. So let's go over to our Apps tab. And in Search Box, we are going to search for GPU Statistics. You'll find the Simon F's repository here. We're going to go ahead and click Install. And it's going to tell you it needs additional requirements, you know, an NVIDIA card, Intel card, or an AMD, which we've got, so... We'll hit OK. We'll wait for Done to show up, and then we'll click Done. And let's look for the plugin here. All right, there's GPU. So we're going to click on the little cogwheel to go into the settings. Now in the settings, under Runtime, the first thing we're going to look at is the Unit ID. On the right-hand side, you'll find Next. We're going to drop down, and then it'll show your video card listed there. Put a check mark in front of it to select that card, and then just click off somewhere. Under there, we have Temperature Format. I am more familiar with Fahrenheit, so I'm going to change that to Fahrenheit. And then under the UI automatic refresh rate, this has to be at least 2000 milliseconds. So you can adjust upwards from there, but you can't go any lower. Once you have your settings done, you can just scroll down, leave everything else on yes, that's fine. And then hit apply. Now we'll go back to our dashboard. We'll scroll down to our GPU settings. Now you'll see listed there. It'll show you the load on it, the temperature of it, how many processes are running, what card you've got installed, just some general information about it. These options below down here, where it's got load, dash, memory. So load is going to be this first column, and then the memory is going to be on the other one. Same thing for encoder and decoder. GPU and memory. Fan and power. Let me show you one other thing here. If we go back to the cogwheel under the GPU, if you find the unit ID, click onto that. If you look at where it says GPU dash, and you've got some random string of you know numbers and characters, that's the the unit ID that other applications are going to require. So if, if something's asking you for that ID, that's where you'll find it at. You could save that now while you're here, or just remember where it's at. It's not too hard to find. Dashboard, find the GPU stats, click on the cogwheel, and then it's just, it's right there. It's the first item. And that's pretty much it. It's a quick, easy video today. So if you found some value in this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. In the meantime, why don't you watch one of these next? I'll see you in the next one.